Sweet 1110, please. Helen, it's me, Ernest Menville. I did it. I didn't think I'd be able to, but I did it. I pushed her down the stairs, and she is absolutely stone cold. And she was saying the most monstrous things, and she's dead, and I did it. I didn't think I'd be able to, but I just had this feeling inside of me that I couldn't contain. And we're free, Helen, but I'm afraid I'm going to burn in hell because her neck is broken, and there's no pulse, and she's dead. Exactly which part of the plan were you unclear on? Because we went over it three times, Ernest. No, Helen, you don't understand. Ernest, we went over it three times. No, Helen, you don't understand. It, it just happened. I mean, it was an accident. It's, it's better than an accident. At least it's going to look like an accident. Have you called the police? No, I called you first thing. Ernest, you poor, sweet thing. If the police check the phone records, don't you think it'll look unusual that you called me before you called them? Oh, my God. You're right. Of course I'm right. Well, should I call them right now? No. We have to decide what you're going to say first. Well? I'm thinking. Okay, I've got it. Where's the body? It's at the foot of the stairs. Foot of the stairs. Good. Don't move her. As soon as we hang up, you call the police. Okay. You tell them you were on the phone with me when you heard a terrible scream. Turn around, and you saw Madeline fall down the stairs. Right. Perfect. Stick to that story, because if they check the phone records, it'll just confirm exactly what you told them. Got it. One thing, though. What about the time of death? Do you think they could ever use it to prove the phone call came after? No, no. It's very difficult to determine time of death within a few hours. It's not really an exact science. Ernest. It's not an exact... Ernest. Ernest! You pushed me down the stairs. <laughs> You bet I will, animal, psycho. Don't come near me. Wife, pusher. Don't come near me or follow me. Don't come near me or follow me or talk to me. I don't intend to. I just have to make a telephone call. I just have to make a telephone call. 911, right? You're in the shit house now, pal. Madeline, look at yourself. Huh? Look at yourself. Ernest? My ass. I can see my ass. And there is something really wrong with your neck, too. I would say so. I would frigging well say so. <laughs> oh. Are you okay, honey? Yeah. Oh. Ernest. What's wrong with me? It's a dislocated neck. That's what it is. No, it could happen. I've, I've never seen it happen, but it could happen. Yeah, so fix it. How? I don't know. Just do it. I wouldn't know where to begin, Madeline. Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> Honey, I think I need a doctor.